Hey there, welcome back. This is Shireen here with another Adobe tutorial for fashion, um, working with uh, some of our techniques for surface design uh, and working with motifs to reduce our color so that we can create um, repeats fillable with our own color palettes. But you might notice something different. Uh, I'm coming to you this time with a tutorial from uh, Photoshop. We're looking at surface design uh, using pixels and raster based images this time. So um, we're going to take it step by step, but these images, once we create definable repeats, we're going to have swatches that, again, if we can isolate those repeats, we can also actually use in Illustrator as well. Um, and we're also going to be working a little bit cross platform with our colors. So, colors that were generated in Illustrator, bringing them over to Photoshop. So, we're really working cross platform to make sure that we get the best results. So, let's get started. This video uh, tutorial is going to focus on how to create a simple, basic two color repeat. So, we're just going to take this image as it is, reduce it down to a simple two color graphic um, element. And from there, um, you know, in the videos to follow, this series is going to kind of walk us through how we'll create repeats. But at this point, this video is just to show you how to reduce the color um, down to two colors. Okay, and so it goes like this. Um, in this case, I have this lovely um, sort of archway. And as it is now, I think it sort of maybe has like about four tones. It's got the brown, a, a shadow, the wall, and then sort of the wood color. But let's say I just want to get it down to its most basic graphic elements. So it's very, very easy. I'm just going to go right up to image adjustment threshold. Threshold is going to analyze my document and everything that's like 51% or more closer to black, it will move to black. Everything 50% or more closer to white, it'll analyze it and move it into um, become white. It looks like this. There you go. That fast. So within your threshold um, histogram, you can also actually kind of make some more choices though in terms of as you see a little bit more black if you choose less black and i actually kind of like the less black because i like the for me i'm going to be happy that these two kind of big primary shapes there um have most of the information so uh, somewhere around there is fine usually anywhere between 125 is sort of the default and it's up to you to toggle here to kind of find what's the right setting um before we go though since this is such a short video while i have your attention i do want to kind of show you that reducing the print is sort of just the first stage of the game cleaning the print is the second stage of the game and so as you see if we really want to keep these as these nice solid graphic shapes we've got um, all of these sort of dots here that again when Illustrator I mean when Photoshop sorry uh, was um, analyzing the pixels maybe that was a little bit of some light or um, some highlight and it kind of got a little bit muddled but we can use a very quick filter to at least begin the work of cleaning this print and so that filter is called under filter we're gonna go to noise dust and scratches so it's a photograph a photographic term where it kind of again kind of just like as if you're taking a brush and sort of you know um, brushing off away any dust or scratches we're doing it digitally okay as you can see really much more efficient than me kind of having to go in and redraw and erase over all those those dots that were there. Um, you can either zoom out as well, kind of get the preview of what's happening. I'm really satisfied. Um, before I close out of this window though, I do want to remind you that if you're set at one pixel, that's the default, that's really where you want to be, sort of catching any one pixel at a time. If you somehow for any reason kind of go too far, you actually in fact sort of lose your entire image. So usually one pixel is more than enough to kind of get in there and clean out um, any extra single dots. The rest of these you can kind of go in manually with your drawing tools. So if I say for example I'm going to pick up my um, brush tool but be careful with the brush actually because the brush oftentimes we set that brush and we end up finding a brush aha as you can see it has zero percent hardness it's a really soft brush we're trying to get this down to a very simple graphic black and white image the softness of that brush I mean I can actually I'll do a little demonstration to show you right the softness of that brush is definitely not going to work for what we're trying to achieve. So what I like to do instead is I actually go and jump and grab my pencil. Oftentimes pencil is the one that's usually set to 100% hardness. So you get that 
um, harsher, crisper edge. That's going to work for me. So I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to go in, make sure, of course, I'm working at 100% opacity, anything if I need any smoothing. So always, again, whenever you grab your tools, kind of double peek at your control panel. And when I'm drawing with my pencil, I'm drawing with black. So I'm going to just go in and I'm going to kind of manually fix up this arch. Okay. But like I said, if I'm drawing with pencil, I'm drawing with black. So what I might also want to do is grab my eraser and draw with white. So I can kind of get rid of that, go in there and get rid of any of those little errant shapes there. Okay. And get it to a point really where, again, we just don't want it to be overly um, um, pixelated, right? So we not, as, as solid as we can kind of get it is a really nice state. Okay, let's zoom out and take a look. I just want to show you that at this point, I have the element that can now um, be put into repeat so that I can copy and reflect and start to create my repeat. Um, once I have that, it would look something like this. And eventually, from this little humble, very easy, quick little exercise, I can eventually have an overall pattern that looks like this. All right, so stay tuned. I'm gonna, uh, before we get to creating those patterns, uh, in the next video, show you how to create um, three color or multicolor reductions. Um, but get started with just playing around with um, your uh, two color reductions, as well as cleaning up your artwork with your pencil and or eraser. Okay, so uh, enjoy that. I'll see you soon. Check out our next video, Multicolor Reductions. Um, be sure to leave comments uh, below. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.